All right, uh, so now we're going to talk about uh, double integrals over rectangles. Um, well, we will introduce the definition and see what it what it means, yeah, but we are not really going to compute double integrals here. So um, if we have a function of two variables, f of x, y, and suppose that we um, are considering it when x is, well, the, the, this notation means that um, x is really between a and b, and y is between c and, and d. So essentially, uh, we are considering um, uh, our function for values of x and y, where uh, the, the point x, y belongs to a certain rectangle in on the plane. Right, so uh, here is the uh, picture in the 3D space. Right? So we have the, the function's value. So the, the, this, this is a somewhat simplified picture. So in, in this picture, we kind of assume that f of x, y is uh, non-negative. So it is above the x, y um, plane. Um, so, and again, in, 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 the, in, in this case, the integral is going to be the, the volume of the, this kind of, un, under the graph of the function. So if uh, f may be negative, then uh, we will have to take, uh, you know, volumes where f is positive with the positive sign minus the volumes where f is negative. But anyway, so um, we partition both integrals n, b, and c, d into smaller parts. Uh, then by doing this, we essentially partition our rectangle R into M times N sub rectangles. And the area of uh, every sub rectangle is uh, essentially, well, I should probably write delta XI times delta YJ. So here is the picture, right? So the interval from A to B in X, the interval from C to D in, in Y. Um, then we have split our big rectangle, this is the big rectangle, into m times n smaller rectangles. In this uh, example, m is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So m is 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and n is 7. So into 70 smaller rectangles, and uh, on each smaller rectangle, we took a, what is called a sample point. So this is a sample point. And then later we will evaluate the function's value at the sample point. So times the area of the, the smaller rectangle, we will get the volume of the, this kind of a, um, of a bar. And by adding them together, we will get the so-called Riemann sum, right? So this is the double Riemann sum, and uh, this is what it looks like, right? So this is uh, kind of a um, a very thin and tall bar whose height is given by the uh, function's value at the sample point, and whose base is, is given by um, the um, rectangle of the partition. And then when we add them all together, then we are going to approximate the volume under the graph of the function. So here is what it looks like, right? So basically, this is the approximation to the volume of the graph uh, under the graph of the function. And when we uh, take the limit as the size, um, as the largest uh, sub-interval in each partition approaches zero, then we will get uh, the, the, the limit is going to be exactly the volume under the graph of the function. Right, so here is what it looks like. Right, so again, so you, you don't really have to... Um, the, the, this definition is needed just to give you some, some intuition of what it is and uh, maybe some sense that the, the, this is actually a rigorous mathematical definition, but um, probably as engineering students, you don't really care so much about the... Uh, about using that definition to, to prove theorems, right? So in mathematics, we, we need to know the, the, this definition to, to prove theorems, but you, you probably don't, don't really care much about it. So I'll, I'll uh, just, just tell you that, uh, you know, the, the definition is not used to evaluate double integrals. It is used to, to prove certain theorems like those that we will um, see in today's lecture, but I, I'm not going to, to give you a proof, right? So we will just apply the, the theorems.
maybe it's just in, in the back of your mind you should know that uh the the proof of the theorems that we will see today is based on this definition so and if you really really want to know then you, you can just do some self-study on that 